fuck my purpose You doing you a disservice Embarrassing yourself on purpose As long as you keep your hands off Hey guys, so A little quick thing before we start Yes, I'm aware That the Vikings video hasn't been uploaded yet For our week 12 match against Minnesota Basically we lost Go figure But that's on another friend's computer Right now, so I'll be when I get that footage finally, I'll upload it then. But just know that, well, I played like shit. Minnesota beat us up. Now, speaking of Minnesota, there is a minor inaccuracy in the commentary that the lovely Shaggy Black put up for us in our game against the Cardinals this week is that he mixed up my Vikings game with my Browns game. Where my defense was doing the work and we... You saw the Browns game. You know what happened. The walk-off with Michael Gallup. Shaggy confused that game with the recent Minnesota Vikings game. So... Bar that in mind, but other than that, Shaggy Black... And all links to him will be down below ski I know he does a podcast obviously you'll see the linkage GGBFL week 14 starts now too sweet as we have the New England Patriots taking on the Arizona Cardinals real deals Cardinals looking to host James's Patriots the Patriots looking to kick the ball off both teams' records are match three and nine, but somebody's got to come away with the W. Or hilariously, a tie, which would make all of our Sundays. And here's the ball kicked off. Made it to probably the 21. Got first and 10 on the 21. Again, both teams not looking... Probably looking more so for the off season, but first and like first and ten on the twenty one. That hikes the ball and we got a run play here. Second and four on the twenty seven. Again, both teams probably looking more for the off season here. But you know, you gotta give it to them, give them credit, showing up every week and getting down, playing the game the way it's supposed to be played. It's Prescott for the Cardinals is backed up. Look like we're going in press coverage here. We'll back off a little mind games. Dak throws it in the flats. Oh, what a nice trip up. By 29, I believe that's Wilson. We got this going, folks. Looks like it's going to be a dinking and dunking here. Third and two on the 29. Might want to have the offensive strategy here today for Arizona. He's going to look to probably run the ball a lot more, but the Patriots are going to want to think about stacking the box. And if that's a football term you've never heard before, then I apologize. Third and two. Play clock's winding down, and we got a run play, and he, he gets stuck. Fourth and inches. Great stop by the Pats. What a stop. They got to shut down that run game early of the Cardinals because... That is a two-headed monster the Cardinals have. But great stop. We got a punt. Punt coming in, and there we go. Little baby return there, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Patriots ball on the 27th. Looking like also Patriots... Have had a hard run of, as of late, but the last victory that I remember seeing was them dominating the Vikings by a large margin. Let's see if they can match that magic today. McDonald's is in. First and 10 on the 27. And we got a read option. Can he get it? Oh, he stopped. Going nowhere like my love life. Two second and ten on the twenty-eight. Let's see what he's got going on, but now he's it looks like it's quarterback by committee. Is this looks like to be PJ Walker? 
And are we going for another read option? We are. The Cardinals look like he snipped that out, but PJ gets out of bounds. First down. First down, PJ Walker and the Patriots. Nice play call there. Definitely looks like the Patriots have switched things up and starting to call things a quarterback by committee. Definitely getting that run game a going. As Saquon's in the backfield. You can't forget about that. Saquon, backfield. Oh, and a drop. Drop by Saquon Barkley. Got to see a lot of the defense had showed up for the Pats in that Vikings game. You got you to gotta hope he does the same thing today. But we're going to see here today how that offense goes. Second and 10 on the 44. And we got Aaron Rodgers in at quarterback now. Hide the mushrooms, folks. Aaron gives it off to Saquon. And Saquon grabbing those yards looking like third and seven. Yes, this looks like a quarterback by committee today. As we've had three different quarterbacks having downs with P.J. Walker being the leader here in yardage. Here we go, third and seven on the 47. A.A. Ron snaps back. He throws down the middle and misses the target. Wow, that was, that was bad. A.A. <laughs> Ron done fucked up. You done goof, A.A. Ron. And we got a punt situation here. Nice leg. Oh, does he get is he get it pinned down? Pinned down. We got Kermit joining the quiz here. That was great. Here we are. First and ten with Arizona on the seven. Great punt, by the way. Great punt. Dak Prescott looking to get the hell out of that, out of their end zone there. Oh, nice catch. Great catch. Like, great throw and catch by Dak, his receiver. Please pay me no mind as I try to go ahead and get everything I can go here. Let's see. First and 10 on the 18. Dak dropping way back and just throws it away. Couldn't plant his feet, but throws that out. Protecting in a possible embarrassing play there by the Cardinals. Again, thank you all for tuning in to James's Twitch. We are watching the, his Patriots versus the Real Deals Arizona Cardinals here in the GGBFL. Second and 10 on the 18. Nice formation by the Pats. We got another one in the flats here. First down by the Cardinals. And look, the Deacon and Duncan is going to work. If you can't beat them deep, beat them short. Ain't, this, ain't the length of the throw, the motion of the throwing arm. First and 10 again on the 30. The Cardinals are driving up the field. Dak steps back into the pocket. Steps way back. And we got a sack there. Sack lunch by the Pets. Sack lunch. Dak is just... You gotta wonder. That probably wasn't a great thing. Gotta step up in that pocket. All right, all right. Dak steps back again. Stays in the pocket. Oh, it is intercepted. Intercepted by the Patriots. This is what helped him become way dominant against those Vikings a week ago. As he's having showing that stifling defense and capitalizing on mistakes. Gotta see here. Now can the Patriots capitalize? 
Ooh, but with A.A. Ron at quarterback, you think he's got a snap, snap out of that psychedelic trance that he's been in because he has just been terrible. Likes the ball to Saquon. Saquon. Oh, can't get out of his own way of his flat man. But we got it here. Let's go. Second and nine. Patriots on the on the Cardinals 29. Can they get in the red zone and leave with some points? Clock's winding down. Right at two minutes. What's A8? What's A right? Ooh. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes on bikes. Aaron Rodgers not looking like his old self here. Third and nine. Just, they got to do better here, you wonder. What you got up his sleeve? We're going to find out. Third and nine, he hikes the ball. Hey, Ray Ron, finally completes a pass. First and ten. Nice catch. Fairfield there. Aaron. Former Tampa Bay Buccaneer was traded to for Jared Goff, and Jared Goff has has been very decent for the Buccaneers. And meanwhile, Aaron Rodgers still trying to figure some stuff out as he throws it in the flats and only gains a yard. Aaron Rodgers being passed around the league like I like me back in college. Except I have a better, except I had a better, uh, better time there than he is doing. But he's got to find his footing and help these Patriots win their game. Second and nine. Aaron throws it, gets to his tight end, first down, and gets a little bit more. Love that play there. Let's see if they can finally drive that in. Great catch by Tunyon. Aaron, waiting, waiting, throws. Oh! I don't know what A.A. Ron saw there. But whatever he saw, might have been seeing ghosts because wasn't shit there. Yeesh. All right, all right. Let's see what we got going on here. It is still the first quarter, 21 seconds left. But on second and goal on the three. Cardinals been playing some decent defense. But I believe the Patriots cannot get out of their own way to score here. Pitches over to Saquon. And Saquon, can he make that goal? No, he doesn't. Great play call there, but just couldn't get to the edge fast enough. Third and goal. Three seconds left on the clock. Does he snap it? No, he thinks better of it. As we're going into the second quarter, it is tied 0-0. Again, thank you all for tuning in to the GGBFL, the Patriots, looking to take on the Arizona Cardinals. And we are also thank you for watching on James's stream. Thank you for being so kind to me, chat. I am, I am trying to get lit here. It's like somebody's offense needs to be. Coming out of a single back. And it's a touchdown. Making my way through the land. Yeah, no other option left but to advance. Got no other option left but to advance. Got no other option left but to advance. It's something you won't understand. It's Davis. Gets into the end zone. And Aaron saves himself from embarrassment. As the Pats put six points on the board, looking to go for seven. And they get it. Patriots up 7 nothing. Let's see if the Cardinals can answer back. Back in the Cardinals. And there's a kickoff. Looks like a short kick. It's past the 20. Okay return there, but now the Cardinals have to 
get it shown up. They got us. They got you. You got to answer back. It's it's a, a very terrible position to be in when you're not the first person to score in your own home stadium. Dak steps back, throws it in the face, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by the Pats. The Pats, the Cardinals are showing Kate as the Pats get the interception and get the touchdown. In hilarious fashion, Dak out here showing Tate to the Patriots. Giving a touchdown up after the interception. As the Patriots are now up 13-0, but after the field goal, it is 14-0. Momentum is all on the Patriots' side. And you... And it might, it's not too early. The pay, the Cardinals are only down 14. They still have a chance in this. But the Patriots keep capitalizing on mistakes. It, it's going to be a long day at the office for Dak and them boards. Birds, matter of fact. I don't know why I said boys. That's, that's, what am I? Yorker? Frenchman? I don't know. First and 10 on the 25. Dak stepping back. Another interception. My God, I talked about seeing Ghost Dak out here. Oof. Spooked, my man. Dak out here throwing interception after interception on two different drives. And he just threw it right to him. A.A. Ron and the Pats are back on the field after that turnover with perfect field position. And Aaron... Tries to take it himself. Doesn't get anywhere. Second and 10 on the 30. If you're the Pats here, you're going to want to try to um, take advantage of the field position, but take your time. The Cardinals have shown that they do not have what it takes. It's a a Ron throws it down the middle. Gets it to his man. First down and goal. Davis again showing up for the Pats and Aaron not embarrassing himself. First and goal. The Patriots looks like a screen and gee, looks like he threw it in the ground. That's okay. It's okay. Okay. Hey, hey, Ron just got to think better of himself there. You would think the crowd would want Patrick, like would want PJ Walker, but A. A. Ron showing you why he's one of the greatest players to step on the field. But right now, he's trying to get that get back. And I, as I compliment him, he throws an interception. Maybe it's not too late to put PJ Walker in. An injury timeout here. Arizona down a man. Nathan Shepard grabbing his arm. Instant throw and instant regret. Yes, you, you hate to see it. You hate to, unless you're a Cardinals fan in which you love to see it. Hopefully, Dak makes a comeback here. Play action. There was almost another turnover by the Cardinals. And this is a all, just all waking it up from a nightmare. Holy moly. You got to hate it. You got to hate what you're seeing here if you're a Cardinals fan. Now it's second and 27 on their eight. That's got to step up in that pocket and making the throw. Will it be a must? Oh, almost intercepted. Almost and almost thrown another interception. That would have been heartbreaking. Still, like still Cardinals fans, you, you have to have faith. But uh, it ain't looking too good. It is not looking pretty, folks. And now you know they're going to throw it. It's his third and 27. They got to get the first down. Dak's got to make a play here. And, and he does. Prescott with the first down. Holy Jesus. Ladies and gents, that is why you don't play man. <laughs> Oof. First and 10 on the 39. 
Can the Cardinals come back? Nice pump fake there. Nice pump fake there. And it gets you another first down. First down and more. Dak Prescott coming alive here. Dak Prescott doing what he can to not embarrass himself. After those costly turnovers. Meanwhile, the Patriots look like they may have lost a step. As Prescott again with another dot. Zach with another dot to his wide receiver. Is that CD Lamb? Dak and CD with the connection that you would have seen in Dallas, bringing it to bringing that game to Arizona. Dak again, a dot to his tight end. Touchdown Cardinals. Touchdown Cardinals. And uh, we might have a ball game here, folks. His momentum has shifted back into Arizona's way. Just got to come away with the kick. And they do. It is now 7-14 Patriots. But the Cardinals coming back. Four minutes, like four minutes and 13 seconds left in the second quarter before we go into halftime. Patriots ball. Getting the nice kick return. Nice kick return. Gets it to the 24. And if you're the Patriots, again, you've been capitalizing, trying to capitalize on those mistakes that the Cardinals have, but haven't done a really good job there. Because Aaron Rodgers has been selling the draws as of late. But we got another quarterback in. It looks like McDonald. And McDonald looks like a flag on the play. Possibly holding, and it is. Holding on the Patriots. The three-headed monster uh, at quarterback of McDonald, Rodgers, and Walker. Very interesting to see here. Because we got Aaron Rodgers back. Rodgers back in the game. And it's a run by Saquon. Saquon with the dance moves. Hit me, pussy. And Saquon gets by two men. Oh, my gracious. With the dance moves, putting that man on skates. A reminder to fly with St. Jude. With James' stream. And we got a first down. Trying to get more there, but he just got to get the first down. Remember, the Flat with St. Jude is here. Join us all weekend and raise funds. Kids of St. Jude, if you want to do so, you can donate to the link in James' chat, like Twitch channel. First and 10 on the 35. Saquon runs it again. Looks like he gets some help from his lineman, and now it's second and one. Great drive. Great drive by the Pats so far. And I got to say, I'm really liking their quarterback by committee with Aaron, with Aaron leading the pack, leading the charge. And Aaron looking to make and makes a great decision by throwing it away because I thought he was going to bomb it downfield, which wouldn't have been wise. Wouldn't have been wise there. Third and one. Nice single back formation. What we got cooking here. Aaron throws it in the flex. First down. If the clock ticks down, we are looking to possibly go to the two-minute warning here in the first half. Clock winds down, and yes, we are in the two-minute warning. Patriots up 14-7. to seven. We Got this going on here. Thank you all again for tuning in, wasting your Sundays by joining the stream and listening to me gabble on about the game. First and 10 on the 47. A-Rod, A-A-Ron, throws it, gets it. First down, they are driving down the field. 
And we're looking at a no huddle. A.A. Ron looking to snap the ball. Making those minor adjustments there. A. Ron snaps. Gets another first down to Saquon. They are driving the ball in the Pats call timeout. Pats call timeout. Is they're looking. Now, that was an interesting call because they slowed down their own momentum. Maybe to get a maybe to get some breather here, but here we go. First and ten on the twenty-three. Walking up the field. Sure field there. As the Patriots now lead twenty to seven. Finish the field goal. Again. Touchdown Patriots. And now, with that field goal going in, it is now 21-7. Patriots up. Two scores. But if you're the Cardinals, you at least want to get you at least want to get more points before we go back in the half. Only because you don't want to go, you don't want to be, if you're going to go into the locker room down scores, you at least want it to be more manageable. But also, interesting enough, you don't want to put yourself in a position to where you're giving the ball up again and putting the hands back into the opponent's hands. Like putting it back in the opponent's hands. First and 10 on the 25. Prescott making adjustments. Prescott taking back, taking back. He throws it. Nice short to CD Lamb. We got a no huddle situation. Got to look out. C.D. Lamb is on one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he goes back, makes the adjustments. Dak steps back into the pocket. What a throw and what a mistake. Oh, my goodness. Interception number three. No, four, excuse me. As we might be showing Tate again. Tate has been shown. For those who have been knowing, Tate tur turnover, touchdown after interception. Excuse me. As it's 27 to 7 Patriots. And a field goal is up now. It's 28 to 7. Patriots are making just making their case that this is going to be their game and their game alone. And I may have jinxed the Cardinals. Only because I said you want to avoid making the mistakes and making the turnovers that will end up putting the putting the Patriots back in a good position. And not only did they do that, they gave the ball right back to the Pats and ended up scoring a touchdown after that like after that interception. So here we go again. Cardinals. 43 seconds left. First and 10. Cardinals. Interception. Jeez. My God. Forcing the passes. You can't force it, folks. You can't force it. It just gets all jammed in there, and you just made a mess. My gracious, the Patriots get the ball back in. That is five turnovers from the Patriots. And Aaron, if there's an interception to the Cardinals, Aaron, my God, that play calling probably, I know, I know in his heart, he wanted to try to put more work his way up the field and get more points. But sometimes, man, you got to take it to the half as that may have not been the smartest move there as Harrison Smith gets the interception and now the Cardinals have another chance to at least get more points on the board. Cardinals doing another dink and dunk to CeeDee Lamb. First down with 20 seconds left and the Cardinals call timeout. The Cardinals call timeout. 19 seconds left. You got to think if they're going to try to get down the field, you would hope they look for any mismatches as you can't turn the ball over again. That has been five interceptions. Prescott stepping all the way back in the pocket. Prescott, nice dot there. Dipping dotting, Dak is doing. As they call another timeout with 10 seconds left. You wonder if it's going back to C.D. Lamb. 
They still have one more timeout, so they actually have a time to get a score here. Oh, my God. Five seconds left. Arizona's ball. Second and 10 on the 23. Do they go for the field goal? Or do they try some trickery here? Or go for it on Gusto? Let's find out. Second and 10. It looks like they're going for the field goal on the 23. This could, this should be makeable. For the kicker. Lord, my Lord in heaven. You miss a field goal in a, in a dome? Well, it looks like the dome is open, so I'll give you that. But, oof. That has got to hurt. That is a disappointment, folks. P.J. Walker and his quarterback. And again, I respect what the Patriots got going on with quarterback by committee here. It's P.J. Walker throws a dime to Robert Tunyon. And that is the end of the first half. Your score, Patriots up 28-7. to seven. Folks, I got to give James credit here. He has shown up and shown out with his quarterback by committee. I have never seen this thing ever before in the NFL, especially with a quarterback as touted as A.A. Ron Aaron Rodgers. He's your number one quarterback, and then you put your other quarterbacks in. But right now, I'm going to tell you this. Even though Aaron has the, uh, even though Aaron has the arm, I'm kind of liking PJ Walker's game. But now we're in the se- now we're in the second half here in his Patriots ball. Driving up the field, can he get a kick return? Nice return here. All made it up almost to the thirty. As let's see what's going to happen here with the Patriots. Now, even though their record doesn't show for it, the Patriots have been doing some good things. This is late, but you always got to wonder what's going to be the plan for the offseason. First and 10 on the 28. A.A. Ron making adjustments. Hands it off to Saquon. And Saquon has to be getting a lot, getting a lot of touches here. I would probably look to tear, turn that up a bit more and make the Cardinals stop that run. If they can't stop Saquon, they're going to be in for a long day. However, Ain't nobody did nothing for the Cardinals except the Cardinals themselves by shooting themselves in their foot five times with five turnovers. And it's making more adjustments. And they give it to Saquon again. Almost gets the first down as it's third and one. Third and one here. You got to see what's going on. Are they going to run or pass? Looks like a shotgun set. Everybody's pl- playing press. Got to hike. A.A. A- a- Ron looking for the open man. And he gets one. That would possibly Gabe Davis. Aaron Rodgers to Gabe Davis connection. Still happening. And Aaron slinging that hoe. Just hope he doesn't sling it to the wrong team. First and 10 on the 43. And Aaron. Interception. My God. I guess I got to stop complimenting these quarterbacks. And will the Patriots show tank? It looks like they will. To the five. Touchdown. Cardinals. Bryce Hall with the interception. And the Cardinals get back on the board. Can the momentum turn? As that is now... The third interception that A.A. Ron has thrown. You don't miss A.A. Ron. You gotta give it to Saquon. But again, you're up two scores. You don't want to be, you don't want to give the Cardinals more momentum. It's now the Patriots ball again after the turnover touchdown. Nice return to the 23rd, 23, like to the 23 yard line. Gotta say here, folks, this has been an interesting game because of due to the comedy of errors that have been happening. And now we gotta run. 
And Saquon, can he get to the outside? He does. First down. First down. It is criminal. And Saquon has had eight touches. But hey, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting here. As you wonder if that's what the game plan here is for the Pats. Getting Saquon more involved, and it is a toss to the Saquon. Saquon doing the dances. It gets stopped short. Second and five. Second and five. Yes. Make the card stop the run game. Then that would open up the passing plays here. But both quarterbacks have been um pretty pretty mid so far. Aaron has been less mid. As Rodgers possibly throwing in the three fan coverage, almost throwing the other interception. Oof, my gracious. Hey, hey, Ron, looking to get back at it. Third and five on the 48. This is going to be an interesting play call. See what they got going on here. And they give it to Saquon, and Saquon doesn't get enough fourth and inches. Do they punt or do they go for it to keep it out of the hands of the Cardinals? I would probably punt. All things considered, just, just showing what the Cardinals' offense has done. They haven't really done too much on offense. But again, you want to stop the momentum of the Cardinals so they don't get anything going. They're only down two scores and there's a bunch of time left on the clock and it looks like they are punting. And then now we got a timeout. Timeout called by the Pats. Very interesting. Very interesting. Interesting. You gotta wonder if he's gonna punt again. And he's not looking like he's gonna go for the field goal. Very very, very peculiar play calling style. That is going to be a 64 yarder, I believe. Can he get it? And <laughs> no, he just he doesn't. And the Cardinals have these have good field position to drive it upfield. But if I'm the Cards, I'm going to take my time. And make right decisions here before I like before I make a because every time they've been rushed, it's been an interception. Awful play calling by Dak. First and ten on the forty-six. Dak winds back. He's got a man wide open. That is his tight end. First down. Donovan Peoples Jones. I said tight end. That is a wide receiver. He's a big boy. First and 10 on the Patriots 17. We got a... Oh, avoid, he gets, avoids the sack and throws the ball, but that could have been a costly mistake. Second and 10 on the 17. They are in the red zone. Second and 10. Look out for the man in the, in the slot there. The comedy of error continue. The, the Cardinals cannot get out of their own way. They're turning over with their sixth turnover here. A.A. Ron getting the ball back for his Patriots. Likes the ball first and ten. Hey, Aaron, with a to Saquon, and man, what a not what a gain! They're in the red zone, and they can put this game away with how it's been going. If another score here, they can be up another three scores, which would pretty much solidify the game for them. As long as Aaron Rodgers doesn't make it. Touchdown. Touchdown Patriots. Touchdown Patriots. The chat is loving to see it. Touchdown Patriots as they go up. Three 
14 is look what is that a dunk <laughs> doinked it doinked it off the uprights and in 35 14 patriot you're a cardinals fan you're probably ripping your eyes out because this is a disgusting sight <laughs> this is like like seeing this score is like seeing your parents having maritals no one wants to see that <laughs> at all but they are going to try and salvage this. They're only down three scores and it's still the third quarter. Anything can happen. But they got to get something on the board here. And Dak, Dak tries to throw another one. Ugh, almost picked off. Triple coverage there. My goodness. Dak out here doing unquestionable things. Questionable thing, just speakable. The 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 what I don't like is the Cardinals abandoned the run game. Another interception. The Cardinals in panic mode, throwing the ball and Dak throws what what quite possibly could be his season high seven interceptions. Seven interceptions. Now. I believe the GGBFL record is nine. And Aaron throws it to Robert Tunyon. And the team can get in. Aaron and the Patriots. Robert Tunyon. Putting the game up 41 14. And my God, folks, that is looking like all she wrote. You hate to see it if you're a Cardinals fan, but if you're a Patriot fan or a fan of James, you are loving every minute of this. The Cardinals are bewildered out there, not having a clue. Dak has completed more has completed more passes to the Patriots defense than he has to his own receivers, and you hate to see it. And it looks like we have a flag on the play. Free play and another interception. I don't know if that's going to be against the Cardinals. It may be against the Patriots. We're going to see here. And it is. It is roughing the passer. Pete, the Cardinals got bailed out. But that was disgusting behavior. If that snaps back, first and 10 on the 40. First down. Patriots, like first down Cardinals, excuse me. Cardinals, again, have abandoned the run here and is going all past. And the Patriots is sitting there waiting to make their opportunities, getting pressure on Dak. And we got the run, we got the run here, but it stopped short. Damian Pierce, three rushes for nine yards. Gotta wonder what much of a, more of a factor he could have been if they would have ran the ball more in the first half. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, though. Second and nine. Number 48. Time winding down. Yeah, calling some changes at the line. Snaps the ball. Throws it to his man. He's hit there. It's now third and one. No first down. Time of ticking off the clock here. We got 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Third and one, and we give it off to Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce with the first down. Damian Pierce with the first down. Four, four rushes for 13 yards. The kid has been a beast for the Cardinals today, but today, like, the Damian Pierce has been a beast for the Cardinals in previous features, but today, it is it has been very quiet for the kid out of Bama. First and 10 on the Patriots 36. Dak throws to his tight end. And the tight end with a spin move. Out of bounds, second and five. As we now are headed to the fourth quarter, this score Patriots up 42. Cardinals, mm -mm. <laughs> you would, You would only hope. 
that the Cardinals can try to continue this momentum to kind of salvage this game a bit. As Dak has been very, very mid with seven interceptions. And we could have ace, but no, no, no. Third and five. Third and five here. Can the Cardinals get a first down? You see the tight end in the flat in the slot. Nice play call. Wide open. Wide open is that Peoples Jones. And he scores. Arizona gets a touchdown. You gotta love it for the Cardinals. But it may be too little too late. Here as they are still down a ton of points. As it is now 21 to 42. Being down three scores. They they have to they have to make some turnovers here. They have to get some turnovers here to be in this game. And Dak has had to remember that he is a quarterback, not a punter. Because he can't keep giving the ball back to that. And ladies and gentlemen, as we take a commercial break here, thank you all for tuning in to the GGBFL Week 14 matchup between the Patriots and the Cardinals. Patriots winning the game 42-21. And we have new quarterback in. It's Teddy Bridgewater. Teddy H2O scrambling. Makes a pass. Almost throws an interception on his first play of the game. That would have been hilarious. I'm not going to lie to you, folks. I mean, you hate to see it to happen to Teddy Bridgewater. But, uh, oof. That would have been what the Cardinals needed. Teddy smartly hands it off to Saquon. Saquon dances. Saquon gets the first down. As we have injured man on the field with the Patriots. Looks like it's Mike Rimmers. Lyman. You hate to see that. Looks like they... Looks like first and 10 on the 35. Dave Davis on the outside. You got another handoff to Saquon. Saquon, it's two yards there. Ladies and gentlemen, I am hearing from our sideline reporter that Mike Rimmer's injury is minor. He shall be back here shortly. Second and eight. Times are ticking off the clock. Looking for Gabe. That looking for Dave Davis on the side, but we have another run play. Saquon. Ooh, Saquon gets a few yards, but gets stopped there. I just noticed that Gabe Davis is taking this game over. Gabe Davis and Robert Tunyon. Michael, it has been a solid game for Michael Gallup today. But right now, I mean, the game is pretty much over as long as the Patriots have game management. And right as I was about to say that, they get called for they get called for a penalty for delay of game. Which is not gonna help. Which is not gonna help them. They're pushing back third and eleven now. Can Saquon get eleven yards off his ass? No, he does not. He only gets three. As now the the Patriots are looking to punt, and you got to think this is what the Cardinals need with five minutes plus left in the game. They can only down three scores. They can make it happen. They're not completely out of this game yet. They just got to make some wise decisions, right? They got to make some wise decisions. You can't put, you can't force any passes. Wait for your man to get open. As as I don't, I do not think anyone on the Patriots defense can cover C.D. Lamb. They've been showing that, but they've been doubling him up to make sure they do not get beat. Pump fake by Dak. Couldn't get it to him. Couldn't get it to the tight end. Second and 10 on the 28. Patriots defense has got to look out for CD Lamb. That's been Dak's favorite target all game. And for the actual completions he's gotten. And, see, and then, not to be outdone, the tight end in the flats gets the first down. 
Looks like we're going no huddle here. Making some adjustments at the line. We got a different quarterback in. That is out. Incompletion by the new quarterback. Dak on the sidelines for a play, but looks like he's out still. What's going on? Dak is out. The backup quarterback is in. The backup quarterback is in. His teammates are not doing him no favors by making these constant drops. It is third and ten. They need to get they need to get this first down. Nice play fake there. And they get the first down. Donovan Peoples Jones, who doesn't have a case of the dropsies, moves down the field for the Cardinals, and they are making some changes here, folks. Can they get a touchdown here and be down two scores? Quarterback steps up, and I don't know who the fuck he was throwing that to, folks. Oof. Just saw Jesus on the sidelines and just wanted to complete a pass to him. But I didn't see it. Second and 10 on the 41. They are driving up the field. Brown steps back up in the pocket. Almost throws an interception. To lead those receivers. It is now third and 10. Third and 10. Cardinals won yet again need the first down. CD Lamb gets open. CD Lamb the ball that is not the one who you want to have the drop seats man heartbreaking for the cardinals as cd lamb was wide open but then drops the ball good coverage by the patriots and now it is fourth and ten knowing they need the first down you you know it's a throw here here we go fourth and ten. Every everybody is covered. It was a back route, and it's a drop. Not the. It is the fourth. It fourth down does not get converted. It is now first and ten on the forty-one for the pass. The chat's silent, but they love it. And now it's first and ten. Oh, what a juke from Saquon! Saquon out here. Jake and Bacon, folks. He gets second and five on the 46. We're seeing outside of State Farm Stadium. Teddy Bridgewater in as quarterback. This is the fourth quarterback we've seen play for the Patriots today. As Saquon tries to get to the hole there. Doesn't get it. It stops. Stop there. And now third and five. What are you going to do here if you're a Patriot? You don't have to keep passing the ball. But, I mean, if you want to put the dagger there, you can do it. But speaking of daggers, it's Saquon. Saquon to, to the rescue and gets the first down again. Saquon showing you you're going to have to be a grown-ass man to stop him. He continues to drive up the field. With those tree trunk legs. Guys can crush a watermelon. Everything reminds me of her, ladies and gentlemen. Two minute warning here in the fourth. It is a 42 to 21 Patriots. And as long as they don't do anything insane, this game should be there. Speaking of the same, same on dancing. He must be a damn disco because Saquon has been busting moves this entire time on the Cardinals defense, making them just look silly. Time's ticking down. Minute 20 left. Saquon coming up the like just coming up there, but it's second and nine, only gets a yard. Saquon only getting a yard here. They are driving up the field. They do not need to score. They just need to get that time down. And it's 45 seconds remaining left on the clock. They have done it. 
got P.J. Walker in his quarterback. They pat, they get it over to a to the wide receiver. T- Sheffield, Sheffield tries to get somewhere, but gets knocked back. They stop that in tracks, and now third and thirteen. This game is over, folks. Giving it to Saquon, and Saquon gets down. Saquon with twenty rushes, one hundred and nineteen yards for the day, and your Patriots lead Arizona with the W. 42 to 21. Folks, thank you all for tuning in to GGBFL. I have been your hostess with the most of Shaggy Black, reminding you to please, when buying six packs, cut the rings so you don't choke a poor duck in the ocean. Other than that, folks, have a good one. Catch you for the next time.